Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES for 10% off any purchase over $10. If you use that promo code between now and January 28th, you will automatically be entered in a drawing to win a Ravnica Allegiance Booster Box. Check out the description below for details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and it is the release day of Ravnica Allegiance. I have a bundle pack here. Cellophane got a little torn on this. It wasn't that way when I um, when I picked it up from the store, but probably when I threw it in the bag, I did something to it. So anyway, we're going to open it up so it doesn't matter if the cellophane is torn. Um, we'll go through here and look at all the contents. Also, aside from the bundle pack, I did pick up two extra booster packs because I like to have an even number so I can play with these. And I took uh, two more to go up to 12, so I have a multiple of six or three depending if I end up playing draft or sealed with these. So I always like to play with the cards, and I'll do that. But anyway, we'll begin with the box itself. Of course, there's the key art on the inside. I'll show you that real quick. There you go. All right. I actually do like that piece of key art. I think it does look pretty cool. One of my favorite parts of this particular product is actually the book here. We'll just thumb through it briefly, just in case you're wondering what's in here. We get a little bit of information about the set. There's a lot of lore in here. That's what I like about these. A lot of really cool art, lore. You get to find out more about the characters. Here's Dove and Ben. Kaya. Domri Raid. All right. So there we go. And then, of course, they always have the 10 coolest cards. I always like to see what they consider the coolest cards, whatever that means. And <laughs> those are always fun to read. And then they give you a visual kind of encyclopedia of the whole set, which is pretty awesome, actually. So I collect those. I like to keep on keep those. Also inside, you kind of get this filler that is a box with the logo, but it's just kind of a cardboard filler. And you get your theft protection device. There you go. <laughs> and we'll open this up. Of course, this is where the main contact contents are. You got your packs in here, which we'll open up first. Get your spin down die. What did we get? We got Orzov. Doesn't look very Orzov. It looks blue. It looks uh, it looks like Demir to me. But anyway, <laughs> got the Orzov symbol. And you get a couple tip cards to help you, especially if you're a new player, learn about the game. And then you get a land pack. Actually, they put foil. They started this with the last one, I believe. They put foil lands in the land pack, which I thought was actually a pretty cool idea. And then the box actually doubles as a container, too. You can put your cards in there. And it's actually pretty sturdy, so that's nice. All right, I usually don't bother opening the land packs, but since you can't really get these lands in a lot of places, I figured let's just open them up. And then you get your foils first. One of each. So there you go. And then all the rest are normal lands. And, of course, these are... All the same pieces of art. Really sweet looking art though, actually, on these. So I'll speed this part along. <laughs> there, there's the swamps. There's the islands. All right, there's the plains. Okay, so there's your land pack. No big deal there. Shall we open these packs and see what is going on? What do we get here? Well, let's see. What do we really want to get? Hydroid Crisis would be kind of nice. That'd be a fun card to open. So I'm just going to thumb quickly past these commons here. I know the set's new. Sometimes people like to see the commons, but most people don't want to spend too much time on them. Sharkto Crab, first uncommon. That's awesome. Cult Guild Mage, Junk Troller, our rare. Well, there's a way to start with a Planeswalker. Kaya Orzov, Usurper. So that's awesome. Really nice pull. I mean, I don't know how good this Planeswalker is going to be generally, but I'd definitely put this in a commander deck. I think it'd be cool. And you never know. People brew some crazy things once we really get going into the... Uh, into the format, anything can happen. So at the time of opening, of course, this is Friday release day. We'll start seeing some standard play tomorrow. So I guess we'll find out soon enough what happens. Although I have a pretty good idea, I think at least initially where things are gonna go. Okay, we have Silhana, Wayfinder, Syndicate Guild Mage, Regenesis, our rare, another good one, Judith the Scourge Diva. There is a build right now out there that Probably will show up in some standard events this weekend, which is a Rakdos Aristocrats build running this. And this is also a really sweet commander card, too. So, very nice. I'll take it. 
pack number three. As it just crumbles in my hand there. All right, here we go. Quickly, so you get an idea of what the commons look like. And then we have Screaming Shield, Windstorm Drake, Orzhov Enforcer, and a Shockland. Not bad at all. Godless Shrine. So far, this, this uh, bundle is killing it. So two really strong rares and and a mythic planeswalker. So that's awesome. Pack number four. Can we keep this up? I'm waiting for the dud pack. I mean, <laughs> we're doing so good. We got to hit a bad one, right? There's your commons. We have a Senate Guild Mage. We have Arcway Angel. We have Swirling Torrent, our rare. Oh, wow. Another mythic, and it's another good one. Prime Speaker Vanifar. So if you've been watching my videos, I've talked about this card a lot. Basically, it's kind of a retake in a way of Birthing Pod. Now, there is a standard brew around this deck, which we might see this weekend. There's a modern brew. I don't know if it's going to make it, but it seems really cool. And of course, there's a lot of commander uh, interactions with this card. So pretty sweet. All right, pack number five. Hopefully... This keeps up because this is kind of crazy. All right, we have Mortify. Nice reprint there. Macabre Mockery. Sentinel's Mark, our rare, is a Glass of the Guild Pact. Okay, not a crazy card, finally, but still kind of a sweet card. I actually like that one. We had a foil in this pack, though. Cavalcade of Calamity. All right. They can't all be crazy, but that's a, I, that's a cool card, though. Getting down there. Okay, we get Depose and Deploy. Vindicate Vampire. Dovin's Acuity. And our rare is an Incubation Druid. That's a sweet rare, too. Okay, I'll take that. There's a little bit of brewing going on with that card, too. I think it was in the... Was it the... I'm trying to think what brew I saw that in recently. I want to say maybe it was the Prime Speaker Vanifar brew. Was running copies of those. I don't remember offhand. I'd have to check, but but yeah, that, that card will probably see some play this weekend. Daggercaster, Zerta Goblin, Flames of the Rays Boar, and our rare is a Tome of the Guild Pack. This would be kind of sweet to put into like a send triplet stuck for um commander. Oh, what? <laughs> and a foil rare. Simic Ascendancy. Really sweet card. Another card that I think we'll see some play. I I'd like to see this in a Merfolk deck in standard. I don't know. We'll see if that happens, but Regardless, I do think this will see play somewhere. Wow, this is amazing. Two Mythics, a Foil Rare. It feels like we're opening a booster box here. Okay, three packs left. I'm not expecting much at this point. These can all be duds, and I'm happy with this with this bundle. This is amazing. Okay, Clamor Shaman. I, I think I see another. I thought that was a Planeswalker. We'll see in a second. Blood Mist Infiltrator. I think it is. Code of Constraint. It's another Kaya Horzov Usurper. Okay. Um, I'll take it, I guess. Bankrupt in Blood. <laughs> now, some people might say, yeah, Kaya doesn't seem like the best Planeswalker, but, you know, you can grab two Planeswalkers out of a bundle. I'm going to take it. I think she's actually sweet. You kind of have to build around her a little bit. And, again, for formats, I don't know, someone might come up with a standard brew. I'm not giving up hope yet, but... Definitely, like, maybe you could work something into, like, casual play, a commander deck. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of power there. You just have to harness it. Rakdos, Firewheeler, Tower Defense. Are you kidding me? I, I think I just saw another Legendary, at least, there. Um, Collision and Colossus. Sweet. And it's Legendary. It's Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. Um, I don't know what she's going to do. She's a cool sideboard card to have in case you need her. But I don't know. Maybe I would try her out in some modern builds, but... There's a lot, I think, better ways in modern to, to stop those strategies than a two on color, two, two that requires two different colors. But you never know. She might see a little play. Okay. Rhythm of the Wild. Okay. Awesome uncommon. Probably the hottest uncommon in the set right now. A lot of gruel builds we'll see this weekend. I think we'll revolve around this. On uh, Silhana Wayfinder again, we have a Carnival and Carnage. Our rare is a Smothering Tithe. Kind of a sweet card. Some people want, want to make this work with treasures. Revel and Riches, for example, those type of decks will get there. I don't know. I'm not too confident in that. But this is a real cool, just kind of attrition-style card, maybe for Commander or something, too. So 
All right, well, that's our bundle pack. Um, but before you go, we got two more bonus packs to open. So, wow, that was an incredible bundle. Um, two of the same Planeswalkers, but still two Planeswalkers. We have a Prime Speaker in there, so three Mythics and a Foil Rare with Simic Ascendancy, plus some really sweet rares. We got a Shockland in there. That was awesome. So we got really lucky with that one. We've been on a roll. I, are you, I just saw it. I saw the rare, and it's awesome. If you didn't see it, I'll build suspense. I'm um, Gyre Engineer, <laughs> Gatebreaker Ram. Now, this card's actually maybe going to see some play this weekend. I have seen some builds uh, with this as well as um, Hydrate Crisis, and they're kind of, it's kind of a gate deck sort of thing. It looks cool. We'll see if it gets there. Smelt Ward, Ignis, our rare. Domri, Chaos Bringer. This is awesome. <laughs> Three Planeswalkers, two of the same, but still. Domri's kind of the big one right now, obviously, because you could see him in some of these Rhythm of the Wild decks this weekend. So that is awesome. Look at that. Okay, so we got one more pack. I can't imagine it's all that great, <laughs> considering. We pulled four Mythics out of 12 packs and a Foil Rare and Sweet Rares. We got some really cool Rares, too, in some of these other packs. I think there's only been like one or two packs where I've been like, oh, that's an okay card. There's another Rhythm of the Wild, so that's pretty cool. All right, Silhana so Wayfinder, Dove and Security, Cinder Vines is a rare. That's, a, that's an all right sideboard card. I think this will definitely see sideboard playing standard. And we do get a Summary Judgment foil. All right, well, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, as always. Hey, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, just check out the description below. We got a whole bunch of ways. I always appreciate that. But as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.